Jim here with some quick tips on how to visualize the inferior vena cava when the standard subxiphoid or subcostal view is limited. The inferior vena cava is one of the most underrated, undervalued structures we sonographers evaluate in the body but actually can provide a lot of pertinent information clinicians can use to save lives. This includes the ability to guide their decisions with providing intravenous fluids for volume resuscitation, or providing a more aggressive medical therapy, and provides fast information on the patient's central venous pressure and right atrial pressure. But sometimes the IVC's visualization is limited, either because the patient has post-op open wound bandages, or when the patient has excessive amounts of bowel gas distending the belly. If you think about it, the transverse colon or the stomach can get in the way when we're trying to visualize the IVC. You'll start by placing your transducer on your patient's right, lateral, and anterior portion of your patient's chest. This is called the intercostal space. Position your transducer so that your index is pointing towards the patient's head in between intercostal 6 and 7 or 7 and 8. Sometimes you'll see the IVC in this spot and you won't have to move anywhere else. You'll start by moving medially along the patient's intercostal space, fanning back and forth until you can visualize the patient's IVC. And your transducer shouldn't have to go any further, about three or four inches than in your nipple line. You can also try having the patient bend their knees while in the supine position, or have them roll to their left side in an oblique or lateral position. So from my experience throughout my career, these tips have worked nine times out of 10. So use these tips, get out there and become great sonographers. I'm Jim with UltrasoundBoardReview.com. Thank you so much for watching our quick tips of the day.